In death, Cecil the Lion may prove even more powerful than he was alive. Worldwide anger over his illegal killing by an American man is triggering calls for change. It's also led to the hunter becoming the hunted. Kim Brunhuber reports. When he packed his bow and went to Africa to hunt for lions, dentist Walter Palmer would never have guessed that a month later he himself would be tracked to his workplace All of this is making any sense. <laughs> and stalked at home. Preserves are meant to preserve wildlife, not to just lure them off and poach them. Palmer says he didn't mean to do it. When his guides lured this lion off the protected national park so he could shoot it, he didn't know he'd just targeted Zimbabwe's most famous lion, Cecil. Cue the outrage. There is a real heartbreak in Africa that we are selling ourselves, we are selling our wildlife. Minnesota's governor has now weighed in. I'm just, just so disgusted with that man. It even made the late night shows. The big question is, why are you shooting a lion in the first place? If you want to Though make Jimmy Kimmel couldn't make a, it to the punchline. Positive, you can, uh, <laughs> sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I, okay, I'm good. Today, the Zimbabweans Palmer hired to help him hunt showed up in court to face poaching charges. How, how do you feel? Oh. Terrible. But Palmer himself may never go to court. The head of Zimbabwe's Conservation Task Force told the CBC that's part of the problem. A crime has been committed. It makes no difference who it is or where they're from. They have to face the penalty. But the VIPs, he says, always seem to get away. Since killing a lion legally in many African countries is just a matter of filling out the right paperwork, some are calling for a ban on all trophy hunting. This is murder. Joanna Dungler runs a sanctuary for big cats. Killing such an animal just because you want to have a picture and then maybe the skin on your wall, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a form of sickness. And now some Zimbabweans feel they're the only ones who can stop it. Those are endangered species, then we must preserve them as a community, as a country. All the threatened animals, not just the ones with human names. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.